hello so welcome to today's tutorial today we are going to see how we can create the order and the cart page and the my orders page and how to place order using uh, api and the form so first of all uh, in in the login login button i have done few updates let me show it to you um, created few variables in the app state and setting the variables to email name and user id once we are logged in so here you see welcome abhishek so here my name is displayed okay let me let me show it to you how it's working login test response test to test so here i am getting the token email name first name last name and display name okay and here i have made the json path to use it directly okay so let me log in here now test to okay so that variable stored updated my name and it's showing in here okay now on the home page on the home page we have enabled show on nav bar so navigation bar we can enable from settings nav bar and nav bar show on nav bar and for navigation bar to show the pages it requires two by default so i have created a new page checkout page and the last one is my orders page so for both of them i have created show on nav bar and show on nav bar okay so here i am getting that type as you can see below the message like product is simple or variable so currently i have worked totally on the simple one okay item added to cart and from this from this button i have created new page checkout for this i have used like uh, the template at page e-commerce and this template i have used this one okay or maybe this one anyone whichever you like you can use so on this page what i had done is i had called the api for the cart items and here in the list view i have defined the items like cart items and dollar dot items dollar dot items from the cart response json body dollar dot items so based on that i'm getting the name product price quantity value so this part it's like that and here on delete one i have configured one more api let me show it to you delete delete item from cart so it should it's like version to cart item and item key so item key and token are passed mm. let me show you the click variables confirmation dialog i have created first like it will ask me are you sure you want to delete let me just click okay cancel so it won't proceed further then uh, backend api call item key or dollar dot item key and the token from authentication token then updating the app state like i am decrementing the cart count this cart count is decremented by one and then showing the snack bar that item removed from the cart ok 
okay and this price like i am getting the price like totals dot subtotal and this one is the final price like totals dot total in the card we are getting all these things so all these things are here now when we click the checkout on checkout i am passing i am passing the products data all the items i am passing okay so for this let me just click checkout here i have created a form and in creating the order let me show it to you create order body here line items okay line items it will only need item id and the quantity so i have created one more function line items okay so i am supplying the products here getting the product id and quantity as a list and we are getting the product id and the list and we are using that in line items okay so let me show you billing and shipping Country drop down. Let me just fill up the form. For country and all, I am also using the WooCommerce API. For that, country, just countries, okay. So, WP three JSON data countries, and for state, it's data countries and the country code. And here we have managed the state code, state name, and countries. Same, the code and the name. So, based on India, Gujarat. a uh, payment method also payment gateway and shipping methods so i am selecting cod on free shipping so here what i have not implemented right now is the taking of the payment and uh, uh, like the actual payment so that's one is pending as of now now we click create order here the order number is created 3554 and in my orders you can see 3554 is created here in all orders see 3554 let me guide you how the create order is working now for create order first we are validating the form then i have created many fields in that i am passing all the data products also see product list json and okay page load i am setting the value like i am calling the function products line items and i am setting that in the products json okay then <coughs> then once the order is created i am showing the order id then i am calling a function which will create clear the cart items so now when i click on the cart here everything should be blank okay 
then updating the cart count like this one you can see now it's zero so setting it to zero and navigating back to home page maybe we can change it to navigate to my orders page just in case let me add it okay and now let's see the create order api create order api variables i have defined like this first name last name address one address two city pin code country payment method shipping method products in that json is the type user id which i am getting from the logged in email and phone number now in this body we have to use the json so payment method we just select the payment method drag and drop like that we have to do set paid equal to true because i am using cod that's why paid is true customer id is the user id billing first name last name same thing goes with the shipping shipping lines shipping method shipping method what we selected and line items the json of the products with which is written from the function okay so like this we are creating the order and we are getting the orders let me show it to you in my backend as well Three five five four. Here are the items which I have ordered. Okay. Thank you. And next video we will be doing like variable products and creating order from that. Thank you once again. Bye bye.